One of my favorite pickups last year was this sweater that I'm wearing. This is the weekday Philo sweater and it's actually a women's piece. But one of the reasons I love it so much is this sort of crochet open knit design. I love the textured look of it and being an open knit, it means it's really breathable. So it's actually a really good summer piece. And one of the reasons I bring up this sweater is because one of the pieces you're going to be seeing everywhere this summer is basically the collared shirt version of this. There have been a few brands doing them over the past few years, but they've generally been really expensive or just not very good. But the design is beginning to trickle down into the mainstream, meaning we get a lot more choice and we can get them for a lot more affordable prices. And I think I've found some really nice ones that are affordable and don't compromise on quality or style. So today I'm gonna to talk you through them and show you what they look like on body. For reference, I'm five foot 10, around 140 pounds, and I'll leave links to everything I'm wearing down in the description box if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. So the first one is this grid lace short sleeve shirt from Topman. Topman is a shop that I haven't really thought about in years, but it seems to be going through a bit of a transformation at the moment. Something similar to what Abercrombie did last year, and a lot of people are loving what they did. Topman seemed to be releasing more decent quality and minimalist pieces, and this shirt is definitely one of them. They call it a grid lace, so it's got that same open knit design as my weekday Philo sweater. The color is called Ecru, I think is how you pronounce it, but it's essentially just a beige or off-white. It's a lovely color, really easy to pair with pretty much anything. It's such a smart looking shirt though, you could easily wear it to a classy venue and you would not look out of place. One thing I was worried about was the length. I would have ideally liked it a bit more cropped, but it's more of a regular length like most other shirts. But as I was trying it on, that didn't actually bother me as much as I thought it would. I like that you can wear it open as a longer top layer, or if you want that more cropped look, then just tuck it in. I think it looks great both ways. I'm wearing it in a size small and it fits really well. A little side note, but it's one of the things I always pay attention to, and it's where the garment was made, and it was made in Turkey. You'll find that a lot more expensive brands get their clothing made in Turkey because they make really good quality stuff. So for 36 pounds, I think this shirt is pretty good value. Underneath the shirt, I'm wearing my favorite weekday vest. This is just a slim fitting vest, but with a really nice ribbed texture detail. And I've tucked that into these oversized tapered chinos from ASOS. I've gone on about these trousers a lot in the past because people always ask me about them. They're super comfortable, but they give off a really smart look, so I find myself wearing them quite a lot. They were out of stock for ages on ASOS, but as I'm recording this video, they seem to be back in stock, so I'll leave a link to them down in the description. On feet, I have my Anne de Mule Mister Louise boots. I absolutely love pairing these boots with a pair of cropped trousers because it shows off that lace detail which is the main feature of these boots. Now for the second shirt, I actually went back to Top Man with this floral lace shirt. I knew before I found these pieces that I wanted both a light and a dark color. So I was pleased to find them both from the same brand. But what I do like is that they're not exactly the same. As the name says, the black version has a floral design, which not only gives off a totally different look, but it feels different to the touch as well. It's a lot more smooth than the grid lace. The black version is also 100% cotton, whereas the grid lace was polyester. So it overall just has a totally different feel to it, but it still gives off that classy and casual look that I absolutely love. Again, I picked this up in a size small and it fits me well. It has the same length as the grid lace version. So it gives you that versatility to wear it open as a top layer piece or tuck it in and get that boxy cropped look. This one was a bit more expensive at 38 pounds, but I still think it's a decent price. And you will no doubt be able to find some discount codes to bring the price down if you look hard enough. Underneath, I'm wearing the Uniqlo Aerism T-shirt, which is just a really nice, basic, slim fitting tee. And I kept the rest of the fit exactly the same. By the way, that belt is vintage and has no branding on it, unfortunately but I'll try and link something similar down in the description box. If you're wondering about that pearl bracelet, it's actually from Etsy. I'll try and link that down in the description as well if it's still available, but I know that Serge Denis make a very similar looking one, so I'll link that as well. 
I love this outfit, you can never really go wrong with an all black fit in my opinion. Even in the heat of summer, this outfit's going to be fine because of that open knit, breathable design from the shirt. So there's my little overview of these shirts, along with some outfit inspiration. I'm not sure which one is my favourite, what do you guys think? As I said, I reckon you'll be seeing these types of shirts a lot this summer. And I can definitely see myself wearing them loads, because they look really good and they're just so light and comfortable to wear in the heat. There are a lot of brands doing them better with more refined fits and higher quality materials. But if you're looking for a decent compromise between quality and price, then I think these are going to serve you really well. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!